Cases of COVID-19 continue to increase in Hawaii. State officials have made a last-minute adjustment on how public schools will start the new school year. Alfred Asena says more on this, plus a recap on recent events in his part of the world. Hawaii's Department of Education uh, this past Friday announced a modification to reopening plans for all public schools throughout Oahu Island in order to align with new safeguards and restri uh, restrictions prompted by the increasing number of COVID-19 cases throughout the island. Starting on August 17, all Oahu public schools will be implementing full distance or virtual learning models. Faculty will train and prepare uh, for this last minute modification uh, this coming week. Uh, DOE has also designed three phases for these schools throughout this island. Phase one will involve in-person training and this will last from August 17 to 20. During the first week of school, students will physically return to campus on a coordinated and scheduled basis determined by each individual school to connect with their teacher, receive training on the distance learning platforms, and address issues with connectivity and access to technology. Phase two involves Ready to Learn, uh, which lasts from August 24 to September 11. For the remainder of the initial four week period, full distance learning will be implemented staff will report to their designated work sites for continued distance learning instruction. And the last phase, phase three, which is a transition to blended learning, which will begin on September 14, uh, Education Department will continue to closely monitor the situation and work with the governor's office as well as the Hawaii Department of Health or DOH to assess whether or not students can safely return to schools to conduct in-person uh, learning. If distance learning will continue for the remainder of the first quarter, uh, an announcement will be made on September 8. Now schools on Kauai, Maui, and the Big Island will still reopen as originally scheduled on August 17, also with blended models. Community Here now is Superintendent Dr. Christina Kishimoto. I appreciate the support and shared commitment of this plan from Governor David Ige, Health Director Bruce Anderson, State Epidemiologist Dr. Sarah Park, and Mayor Kurt Caldwell in accepting this proposal from our Oahu school leaders. Our complex area superintendents on Oahu pulled this plan together collaboratively. I'd like to address our public school students. You have been at the heart of every decision we faced. We know you are eager to see your teachers and friends again. We are excited to welcome you back and continue your education journey. And to our public school parents, please know that we remain committed to educating your children with high quality learning opportunities. As of this report, the Aloha State has reported 201 new cases of COVID-19. 200 alone on this island of Oahu and one on Maui, bringing to a statewide total of 3,115. Unfortunately, two more Oahu residents, both with uh, pre-existing conditions and elderly, have lost their battle to the virus, resulting in a statewide total of 31. And just to recap um, the events for this week in this part of the world, and to, re to recall last week, and uh, the state government had encountered some reporting delays, uh, which resulted to low uh, case count uh, initially, but uh, had to be corrected the following Monday, which averaged about um, close to 100 or more per day. Also, uh, this past Thursday, Governor David Ige um, announced the reinstatement of the 14-day mandatory uh, self-quarantine uh, for all inter-island travelers. Uh, particularly uh, for those uh, coming from this island to the other islands. Uh, following that uh, announcement by the governor, Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell uh, made the decision to close, once again, to close all beaches and parks uh, throughout this island uh, beginning today up until uh, September 4. 
Reporting from Honolulu, Hawaii, I'm Alfred Asenas, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Back to you.